and welcome back so today I'm going to paint um, lavender in a terracotta pot so I've already sketched the pot here with my pencil so as you can see there is a pot and then there is a plate underneath and I will be adding the lavender So now the light is coming from this direction so it will be lighter on this side and we'll have shadow here so it will be darker on this side. So for painting my terracotta pot uh, I'll be using a few colors like I have this Venetian red and I'll start with a very light coating of it using the Venetian red. I'll just paint it all over and next I'm taking my burnt sienna and I'm spreading it over here so um, it's like it's wet on wet because uh, the first coat is still wet here so I'm just adding some burnt sienna on top of it So in this direction, as I said, this would be uh, the direction where we have uh, the side where we have uh, the shadow. So it will be darker on this side. And for the plate also, this side is uh, where we have the darker color because of the shadow. And then I'll just spread it to the other side. So adding no color, just spreading it with the plain brush, with the clean brush. And I'm also adding a little bit of burnt umber here. So adding more burnt amber, umber on the right hand side. Now for my lavender plant, I have uh, some sap green and I'm adding some yellow to it which is my uh, lemon yellow hue and I'll also add uh, some ultramarine to it. start making the branches so this will be uh, this will it will have a lot of branches here so it's a thick bush so a lot of branches leaves and in all directions
so I first start painting these branches in lighter color and then we'll add more darker color on top of it so I'm just uh, doing crisscross because it's uh, there are a lot of bush a lot of branches and a lot of uh, leaves in all directions making some longer stalks where we'll have the flowers I added uh, some paints gray to the green to just give the variation in green color here lavender color I'm cleaning my blue because I had some green there so now for the lavender I have this conocodone rose to which I'm adding the ultramarine and then we'll start painting our lavender so it's just some simple strokes here and uh, I will um, uh, add, change the color variation so sometimes there is more blue uh, at some places more pink and purple I feel this uh, color combination of ultramarine and uh, knockdown rose is perfect for our lavenders Just add a lot of flowers in all directions. And again, I'm changing uh, my color. Some this time I'm adding more blue to it, making it more purple. And for this painting, I'm just using one brush, which is my size 10 brush and uh, so this is the only one brush that I'm using it has a good point so I it's good for painting these small lavender flower, lavender flowers and also to make all these uh, the stalks and leaves for lavender and it holds a good amount of uh, color to in it so I don't have to fill it up again and again.
lot of lavender flowers in all directions. Lavender is my favorite flower and I enjoy painting it all the time. stalks and uh, this is my um, gray paints gray so at the bottom where we have uh, more shadow and a lot of uh, branches and then I'll just spread it using some green I'm adding some more branches and leaves to make this bush look very full. Pot, so I'm just adding uh, some clean water first. Now I'm taking some burnt sienna and adding some burnt umber to it. And then again we'll start from the right hand side where we have the shadow. spread this color to the other side so you can see there is more light on the left hand side and there is shadow on the right hand side so there is some more shadow here To take it away from this side it became too much okay. and then I'll add it add to the plate also same thing we will start with the dark color on the right hand side and spread it light to the left hand side
will let it dry for some time um, and in the bottom we'll add some shadow here it's the casting shadow and for that I'm using um, the paints gray so I'll add the paints gray and but without touching the pot itself and then spread it with, with uh, some clean water Gray. and let it dry for some time some more flowers here
also there is some shadow here underneath the top part of the pot so I just added the same dark color here Splashing some of my lavender color here. So we are almost done here. Just add, uh, I'll just add the last minute touches. I hope you enjoyed painting it with me and um, hopefully I'll see you soon in another painting video. Thanks for watching.